Hi there and welcome to uh, another little Budget Model Railways Tutorial Tuesday. I haven't done one for a little while. Um, what we've got here is, as you know, we, we make quite a few layouts and one of the problems we get, the advantage we do is we use a lot of track map, which is quite good for getting the track down and then occasionally I want to lift track or I, I change layouts and I take stuff up. Um, We've been using track pins fairly traditionally and they've got a couple of problems. We had a bit of a joke with one guy pointing out that you've forever got numb fingers from hitting them. Very hard to hold a little track pin while you hit it with a hammer and there's all sorts of ways. But we saw online, uh, probably most of you have eBay wise, these. I'll just try and get one in my hand so I show you. Can't really see them. Uh, there we go. Little track fixing screws. So we bought some. Only to discover of course that no screwdriver we fit we've got fits them. What you need is a special screwdriver. Now at one time these were something ridiculous like about seven pound on eBay. However, they've now come down and I bought a couple of hundred screws and this for about four quid. So this makes it worth a try and I have to say it's completely changed my attitude to doing track. Firstly, it's magnetized. So you put the screw on the end and it stays. Couldn't be much simpler. You find the hole in your track sleeper and you screw it in. There we go, done. Simple as that. You're working on points, which can be quite fiddly. Again, put it in, screw it in. Just like that, it's done. And then you can work your way along and it's a really secure fix. Now for me, I should point out, the reason it's going in so easily is this end bit swivels. So it's swiveling in your hand. Now, last night we was working, you'll see some videos, we've done a lot of work on our loft layout, and one of the points I put in needed replacing. Equally, we changed the track plan. Now, what traditionally happens is we've got to try and lift the track pin to do that. Um, you've got to try and get something under here, get something under the sleeper, and about 50% of the time you break the sleepers. With this, you just go in, like that, and away you go, you lift your track. So for us, it's quite stunning. It's really changed my view. I wouldn't go back to traditional track pins, uh, no way at all. Um, these come in different lengths, these screws as well. Uh, I think it's a great piece of kit. I think it makes all the difference in the world to laying track. Looks neat when it's on. So Doug will put some links in there and some images and things. Hunt on eBay, um, there's all sorts of various places. Um, depending on what country you're in, shop around, see where you can get it cheap. You might end up paying five or six pounds for this and, and a couple of hundred screws, but I would say that that's well worth it for ease and convenience. Um, so let us know what you think as always. Uh, please like, comment and subscribe and keep watching the videos. Hi, thanks for watching the video and for the nice comments. Uh, click on the left for a previous video in this series. Click on the right for another video you might enjoy. And please don't forget to click to subscribe, like, comment, etc. Thanks again.